Hi guys, today I have very good information for you guys, especially if you're a car student. Why? Because there have been new bills proposed and have been passed by and signed by Governor Newsom. That's right. New college proposals. Well, hello. Hey guys, today I have very important news for you guys, especially if you're a college student. Why? Because there have been proposed and bills passed that are already signed by Governor Newsom. All right. Now, this is in the state of California, but hopefully your state will follow through just as well. And hopefully you guys stay tuned to this video so you can know what's going on. Okay. So as we see right here in this article, 100% fact, if you're watching on TikTok, make sure you watch the full video on YouTube. Why? Because it'll have full details. Right. And right here we see five bills. That's right. Five new bills that affects college students and what does it mean and how is it going to be better college students in campus and in their everyday life. Right. So uh, we we got uh, five bills. One bill uh, we're gonna name it right now. Bill, the first one is Bill 469, which uh, requires all students to register for financial aid. Bill 1377, universities provide need based housing. Bill 396, expansion of Cal Food benefits. Bill 928, establishment of lower division general ed pathway for community college transfers. And Bill 1111, community colleges to adopt universal course numbering system, okay? Now, what do they mean? We're going to go each bill uh, one by one and, ex and then explain to you guys what does it mean and how it's going to affect you, especially as a college student, right? Or if you're planning to go to college or you're already a college student and you're going to see the changes of this year, right? So, it has already been passed. Now, 92% of proposals have been passed, which these five bills have already been passed and signed. One has been vetoed. We're going to get to that later. But as we go, come right here and see, affordability and financial aid with Assembly Bill 469, which is the first one, right? Now, all students are required to actually submit a free application for federal student aid, the FAFSA, or the Dream Act application by September 2022, all right? Now, this is, this is what the bill means. All students are required and must sign up for financial aid. FAFSA or the Dream Act application, okay? Now you have vice, uh, and it has to be done by September 22, okay? And the reason why is that Governor Newsom and California and obviously everybody who posts this bill wants all these students to actually look for the financial needs and get the financial help that they actually deserve, okay? So they will know that. They wouldn't know that if not able to apply. But now, because they're forced to apply, they will probably receive more money than expected and actually receive financial help for them to actually um, go to school, right? So, I mean, this is a great bill. Everybody are forced to actually apply, even though you're not, you weren't sure you had to apply. Now you know you have to apply, and you will receive this financial aid. Other bills make it a lot easier for you guys, and we'll give more aid for you guys. As we go on to the next bill, it says Assembly Bill 1377, and you guys could read along with me, right? This bill will require all California public universities to perform a needs-based assessment of student housing starting in the 2022 and 23, 23 fiscal year. Universities will need to create a housing plan with the emphasis of affordable housing that addresses how they will meet projected student needs. Okay, so in other words, universities are helping students get better housing. All right, so they're going to help with the rent, they're going to help with the rent, or, or actual room, and they're going to help with them actually finding a house, a dorm inside the university or around the university by the year 20, um, starting the year 2022, 2023 fiscal year. As we've seen right here in Long Beach, now this is California, and in Cal State Long Beach, students are actually sleeping in parking lots. Why? Because they can't afford rent, they can't afford a good apartment, they, can't find a, they cannot find an apartment. So the school actually permitted uh, the students to actually camp and sleep over in the cars in the parking lots, right? Now, this is obviously the big problem with homelessness and other people not being, being able to pay the rents. But as we see now, this bill is going to help universities actually find um, rooms and help them with the rent for housing. So for the students to actually go to school and study, right? Beginning 2022 and 23, 23 fiscal year, right? The next bill, Assembly Bill 396. Now, this bill targets a proposed expansion of Cowfish Food Benefits. I spoke that, about that in my last video. If you want to watch that video, um, I, I guess I'll give you a little bit more explanation. But pretty much, it's going to make it easier for all college students to actually apply for food stamps. And that's right. Cowfish is food stamps. And if you already received EBT food stamps, great. Uh, you already know um, what you got to do. But if you don't, now this uh, this bill what it helps all college students actually find an opportunity to actually apply. Uh, what changes if you already knew? Well, the thing is that you, if you already knew, you have to upload certain documents, right? And those certain documents actually contain one important document, which is your income um, level, right? So if your income level is higher than what uh, qualifies, then you're not be able to receive it or you're going to receive less, right? Now, in order to actually receive full stamp benefits, if your income is a little bit high, 
you're going to have to work at least part-time 20 hours per week, right? Or be enrolled in a grow program. Now, what this bill, Assembly Bill 396, does is that it actually creates new jobs and programs inside the school campus, which actually helps students find um, the opportunity help uh, find the opportunity to actually work inside campus or have a program inside campus instead of traveling to another location and wasting most of the day and not being able to qualify, right? Other times, they're not able to find a job. Other times, they're not able to find uh, the proper um, the proper hours because you do have to work 20, 20 hours a week. But now these schools and universities and more are, um, are being accepted for, obviously, the Football College program. Uh, to have uh, this work source program inside the campus that now college students are able to work inside campus 20 hours complete per week and have at least 20 hours uh, studying for the program inside the campus so they can actually receive food stamps, right? So uh, under the current federal law, college students who are enrolled more than part more than part time are not eligible for these benefits unless they meet certain exemptions. One of those sections requires students to participate in employment training for low-income households, right? So this law, obviously, um, it makes students eligible for requiring for this exemption, and it requires employment opportunities to be made available at, and not at all California public universities and community colleges, okay? So it's super great. Like I said, they'll help you out with the program. If you worked already a job, now you do the participant program inside campus, or you can actually work inside campus, right? It's great. Go ahead and apply. Uh, obviously, they have actually made an exemption this year for, for the pandemic. All you had to do is apply and say, you know what, I don't contribute nothing with my parents. Um, you could write, write in the comment, I could explain a little bit more, but if I don't contribute no income to my family household, that means I'm able to apply and receive food grant benefits with a separate EBT card for myself, right, if they claim you as a dependent. So um, that's a little bit more information. And the next bill, as we see right here, Community College Transfer System, Assembly Bill 928. Now, this uh, this bill will establish a standard sequence of lower division general education requirements for students attending to transfer from community colleges to four-year public universities. It also requires California community colleges to place students who declare the transfer goal pathway for their intended major. Okay, what this means is that they actually help people um, find a new road to a uh, university, right? So if people before people just um, didn't have a good uh, let's see, went to a counselor, they had a plan, transfer plan but you weren't really so sure, right? Now they're actually making it a little bit easier for the requirements to actually uh, be able to transfer and to be able to help you out with that plan, right? Or like Assembly Bill 1111, it will require uh, all 116 California community colleges, campuses to adopt a common course numbering system that will ensure an easier application for transfer credit at both CSU and UC schools. Again, what this means with Assembly Bill 928 and Assembly Bill 1111, it helps get create a goal, uh, generate a, a new school plan, so that could actually transfer to a CSU or a UC, uh, which is university, right, Cal State University, and it helps you actually, and it, and, it, uh, and it's going to make the application better and easier for you to apply to these universities and Cal States to actually get accepted, right? So... Uh, I have a quote right here that says, I think that by making the community college more uh, system more compatible with four-year universities and easier to navigate, we're working on reducing some of the sti uh, stigma that can come from choosing a two-year over university. Okay, so I mean, they're helping push, pushing people, all students, to get major um, and greater education in actually four-year college, Cal State, or university to better their education and better their professionalism, right? With a proper, again, transfer goal and a proper um, uh, school plan, right? Now, this is great. All these bills have passed. Like, it's obvious that it helps you out. Things you're already supposed to know, but now you know the application gets easier. You could get into college and universities much faster. And, um, the, and it's, um, um, so so now if you have a major, they'll help you out and push you out into that direction and better. So you won't have so it'll be more well, it'll be more difficult. You get uh, food stamps, you get housing, and you get more fa um, financial aid, right? More aid for your, for your, um for school. So it's a great bill that just passed. It's gonna help every college student. And there's been one bill that has been vetoed. It was it was it was Assembly Bill fifteen. 1456, and this will have simplified the Cal Grant system, okay? Now, the financial aid system has been criticized over in years for being over overly complicated and not investing enough in students choosing to pursue two-year colleges. The bill was projected to make an additional 160,000 students eligible for aid, but again, it has been vetoed, right? So, even though Newsom vetoed the bill, it, um, it, was, it was after his approval for um, 
for uh, of other assembly bills that target affordable housing and expanding financial aid eligibility. So in other words, Newsom is trying to um uh, trying to see if these bills work, and that's why he actually built uh, vetoed this bill fourteen fifty six, which might maybe we'll see in the future, right? So um so again, if you like this channel, please subscribe, and hit the like button. If you want to go over these bills, you can search it up yourself, pause the video, and read it for read it for yourself. Um, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below so I'll be able to answer for you guys. Right, okay, so uh, these are new uh, changes for the bills. Again, subscribe to the like button and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.